it is time for people of Machakos to choose wisely. Among the candidates, I can say for sure and for certain that Honorable Mutua Katuku is a seasoned politician, he's a great leader, he knows how government works, he knows, he believes in uh, social justice, social, he's a social democrat, and uh, we are going to have a leader who not only cares for the less fortunate, he also cares for women and the marginalized. So, as a leader, I have worked with Honorable Katuku for more than 20 years, and I know what he is capable of doing. We know the other parties are very jealous of our candidates. All parties would have wanted John Mutua Katuku to be on their ticket. But Mutua Katuku, being the wise man he is, he knows where he belongs. So we are calling upon the Machakos electorate this time round, come out in big numbers. We know we have a challenge of uh, uh, voter turnout during the by-elections. But between now and the time it comes to election, we want you to go out of your way and support the best candidate, who is none other than John Mutua Katoko. Sisi tukiwa hapa mandilio chap chap, tumefungua mkono wetu. Tumesema tutafanya kazi na viongozi wote ambao antaka kufanya kazi na sisi. Sisi hatuna chuki, hatuna fitina, hatuna shida na wengine. Sisi tunataka kuinua watu wote, viongozi wote wa pande juu. Ninafurahi sana hivi leo kumkaribisha mheshimiwa wetu Dr. Susan ambaye tunamjua alikuwa women rep katika kaunti yetu ya Machakos ambaye pia amejiunga mkono nasi akasema yeye kwamba katika mlingo wake wa kisiasa, experience yake anataka kumuunga mkono na kuzunguka kimwombea kura kiongozi wetu wa senator mheshimiwa Katuko nasema karibu sana tumefurahi sana ni jambo la muhimu kwa sababu tunajua kwamba mheshimiwa senator ni mheshimiwa ambaye kweli yeye ushindi ni wake kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu wa, wa, watu wetu wa Machakos wamechoka kuchengwa wanataka mtu ambaye anajua atawatafutia mali ndio tuweze kupata hali ya maendeleo. Kwa hivyo nakukaribisha sana katika chama chetu. Siasa za Kenya zimekuwa siasa za boardroom. Watu wanajipanga, wanakaa kwa boardroom, wanasema chukua hii, chukua hii, chukua hii, chukua hii, halafu wanaenda kuitisha kura. Sisi kama chama cha maendeleo chap chap na sisi kama vijana tunajua kwamba kura iko pale kwa ground. Kwa hivyo sisi tunataka kuambia wa Kenya kwamba kama chama cha maendeleo chap chap tutazunguka Kenya hii yote na tutaomba kura kwa kila nyumba, kila kijiji, kila kanisa, kila mahali. Ndio vijana walio hapa ambao wana kazi, watu ambao wako hapa wana barabara, watu wako around akina mama wana pesa, wajue kwamba kuna chama ambacho kinajali maslahi yao. Sio maslahi tu ya wakubwa ambao wanajipanga kwa magazeti ama wanajipanga kwa redio ama kwa TV sisi tunataka kutatua shida za wananchi. Ni jambo laibu kabisa ya kwamba nchi ambazo zilikuwa maskini kutuliko katika nchi ya Kenya sawa kwa mbele kabisa. Wa Kenya wanasema wanataka kuviongozi wa kiuchumi, kiongozi ambaye anaelewa shida ya wananchi nini. Sio kiongozi anakuja na helikopta, anawaachia pesa ya kuongana, anarudi kwa helikopta, anaenda mahali pengine. Tumechoka kuchezewa akili. Na mimi naomba wa Kenya wote tuanze kuachunguza viongozi. Huyu kiongozi ni kwa nini anataka awe rais? Nitataka kwa nini anataka awe senator? Ni kwa nini anataka awe governor? Ni kwa nini anataka awe mjumbe? Tujiulize, je, yeye ana maslahi yetu kwenye roho? Anataka kubadilisha maisha yetu ama ni power, ni nguvu tu anataka? Na kiti ambacho amekalia kwa hivi sasa, amefanya nini kwa hicho kiti ndio tupate maendeleo?